right here in the background we see them hovering about the arriang bus and transit program that's led by the city of tuan as you know it man check this out this program over here is going to let you know how you can connect the city and everything like that we're going to speak to a few people and ask them how they came about with this and how it can actually help you travel around the city as you know it thank you so much for inviting us here no thank you very much uh, for the coverage highly appreciated and uh, my greetings to your viewers Arying, connecting the capital how does this benefit a young person more pretoria well one is that um, when young people want to access uh, economic centers be it the CBD, Hartfield and much later be it uh, the main lane area to the east uh, moving from the periphery, Mamilodi, Soshangube we have uh, a reliable, efficient, affordable uh, public transport within a uh, 500 meter radius of where you stay so it's within walking distance those uh, who are about uh, all of the people of Tuan at the conclusion of the full service will be within 1.5 uh, kilometers from the actual uh, station including the feeder the feeder routes so it's available you can go to the library if you are not staying at rest because uh, your parents don't have money to pay for rest or you couldn't find a, a accommodation you still you are staying in an informal settlement say you are studying at the university of pretoria or tut you still have access to a library you are not penalized because of your geographic location the third area is that you are on board you've got the uh, access to connectivity your in, your connectivity remains uninterrupted so you are able to do your assignments, you are able to email assignments, you are able to communicate with friends at no cost. So I think that's the true value that is going to come to, to young people. Andy, let us know, what do you think about the RDA bus in transit um, system? Well, I've been very excited about this project right from when I first heard about it. And I wanted to get involved to make sure that these buses are really wheelchair friendly. Now we've got the car train buses, which are wheelchair accessible, but not friendly. We got the Joburg Rear Via, which is wheelchair accessible but not friendly. So I'm very excited with these buses because they are really wheelchair friendly. I can get in and out with nobody helping me at all, and so I'll be able to take the bus by myself, which is very exciting.